uh, although there have been evacuations, uh, people are being warmed up on RTS buses who have had to evacuate. Um, meanwhile, firefighters uh, are putting out that firefighter, uh, that, excuse me, putting out that fire. Uh, incredibly uh, stressful and frenzied situation, as Evan Dawson was telling us before, chaotic because you're dealing with a fire and an active crime scene. And as we found out just a few minutes ago, uh, it was only a year ago that these firefighters were dealing with another tragedy. You may remember the uh, teenager Michael Pilato accused of setting a fire nearby that killed his father and two brothers. They have had a lot to deal with, and now this. Um, so we're going to find out more, hopefully, about all the firefighters involved uh, but, as time goes on here. But one thing that we do know was that the two firefighters, indeed most if not all of those firefighters on the scene this morning, from the West Webster Fire Department, they are volunteers. These are people who hold other jobs and who take time uh, to protect their community. Um, and the sad thing, of course, is that many of us in the media know who these people are. Um, we have done work with the West Webster Fire Department over the years, gotten to know many of these men and women uh, by name, by a first name basis. And what you can see right now off in the distance is the water being poured onto the scene. So apparently those firefighters are on scene now trying to put down the remnants of that fire. But again, just a horrific, horrific scene.